Top 5 African Countries Leading in Mega Construction Projects Mega projects are large-scale, highly complex construction programs spanning sectors such as transportation, infrastructure, and energy that typically cost between millions of dollars to a billion dollars or more. Take many years to develop and build, involve multiple public and private stakeholders, are transformational, and impact millions of people. Mega projects are large scale. Several African countries have construction projects underway, but in this video, we'll be looking at the top five with the biggest construction projects. Hello, Displorers, and welcome to yet another educative video brought to you by Desplore. In this video, we will take a look at top 5 African countries leading in mega construction projects. But before we move on in looking at the details, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. As of 2020, Egypt, South Africa, Uganda, Nigeria and Kenya have been leading in the number of projects in Africa. Egypt and South Africa each counted 40 construction projects valued at over 50 million US dollars. Uganda had 27 projects, while Nigeria and Kenya registered 26 each. Overall, Africa had more than 380 construction projects that same year. To qualify for inclusion in this video, infrastructure construction projects are required to be valued at over 50 million US dollars. And in addition, projects must have broken ground, but not yet been commissioned by the end of 2021. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Number 1. Kenya Kenya has made significant investment in infrastructure development, particularly in the transportation sector under the president Uhuru Kenyatta. Kenya has borrowed substantially from external partners to ensure that projects are successful and that Kenyans eventually get to reap the benefits of the taxes they pay. Despite their perceptions that they are being disproportionately taxed to finance some of these loans, Kenyans will eventually benefit from the speed that these projects will provide once they are completed. Other projects are purely built on public-private partnership terms. The projects are expected to be complete by at least June 2022. Some of these projects include the Lapset Project, the Nairobi Expressway, Kipevu Oil Terminal, Standard Gauge Railway, Konza Techno City, and so much more. The most expensive Kenyan infrastructure at hand is the Lapset Corridor Program. It is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project, bringing together Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. This mega project consists of seven key infrastructure projects, and its total cost is approximately to be over $13 billion. This project is funded by the African Development Bank, European Union, and the Government of Kenya. Next on the list is Nigeria. Nigeria has made important strides towards improving much of its infrastructure. Compared to many African peers, Nigeria's relatively advanced power, road, rail, and information and communications technology networks, which cover extensive areas of the nation's territory. Nigeria's economy is specifically robust. The West African country continues to grow at a healthy rate of 5-6% to per year and this trend appears to be poised to continue in the near future. Nigeria is also Africa's largest economy by a significant margin. With a GDP of $569 billion in 2014, owing to the country's rapid expansion. With significant investment, the construction industry continues to boom. Nigeria holds some of the largest number of projects in West Africa, with 21 projects, that is 28%, valued at $54.2 billion, 67.1% in US dollar value terms. This is according to the Africa Construction Trends 2019. One of its biggest projects is Centenary City. Centenary City is the largest and most expensive construction project in Nigeria. It is estimated to cost $18 billion to construct. It is a planned city located in the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. 
Centenary City is a master planned development overseen by Centenary City Developers FZE, in a joint venture agreement with Centenary City PLC and Front Range Developers FZE, as part of Nigeria's vision to create the city of the future smart city, along with the same lines as Dubai, Monaco, and Singapore. Number 3 on the list is Uganda. Uganda is a landlocked country in East Central Africa that Sir Winston Churchill dubbed the Jewel of Africa in his book My African Journey in 1908. Uganda is a country rich in natural resources, topographic features, and natural parks, and is known for its amazing wildlife, brilliant colors, and natural beauty. Infrastructure is a key priority of the Ugandan government. During the past few years, infrastructure development has contributed immensely to increase productivity by facilitating efficient connectivity and easing the movement of goods and the provision of services. Infrastructure funding currently comprises about 32.8% of the government's total annual expenditure. To better the lives of Ugandan inhabitants, the country is implementing numerous development projects. For a couple of years now, Uganda has had several completed projects and others on the way. Some of these projects include Kampala Storage Terminal Project, Port and Shipping Network at Lake Victoria, Mukoki Hydropower Project, Yahe International Regional Green Herb, and the East African Crude Oil Pipeline, and so much more. One of the more remarkable projects in Uganda is the East African Crude Oil Pipeline, worth $3.5 billion. The East African Crude Oil Pipeline, commonly known as the Uganda-Tanzania Crude Oil Pipeline, is a proposed 1,445-kilometer pipeline that would deliver oil from Uganda's oil resources to Tanzania's Tanga. When completed, the pipeline will be the world's longest crude oil pipeline. The project's building phase was originally scheduled to begin in August 2016 with a $40 billion budget. But due to numerous delegations and conferences, the construction date was pushed back to July 2021 with a $3.5 billion budget, with first oil expected in 2025. Next on the list, we have South Africa. South Africa has a good core infrastructure network, such as a transport system, power, communications network, sewage, and water. However, while there is a good core network, previously disadvantaged areas and rural areas don't have the same adequate infrastructure as developed communities due to high social inequality. The South African government adopted a national infrastructure plan in 2012. With the plan, they aimed to transform the economic landscape while simultaneously creating significant numbers of new jobs and strengthen the delivery of basic services. Most of these projects have been completed and SA still has more infrastructure projects to come. In the likes of the Nkuna Smart City Project, Meerkat Telescope Square Kilometer Array SKA project, the Sotu Highlands Water Project, Medubi Power Project, Kornubia Housing Project, Nzimvubi Water Project, and the list goes on and on. One of these projects, at the cost of $1.5 billion, is the Kornubia Housing Project. Kornubia Housing Project is a billion-dollar integrated human settlement located adjacent to Umlanga in the north of Durban. It is a mixed-use development comprising residential, commercial, and industrial sites. Kornobia is the first proposed sustainable and fully integrated human settlement in the region and has been declared a national priority project. The project will be spread over 1,200 hectares, with 80 hectares earmarked for industrial development and the remainder for commercial, housing and other social and public facilities that include schools, clinics, police stations, post offices and multi-purpose halls. Of the 24,000 residential units planned for the development, 15,000 will be low-cost homes. At the top of this list, we have Egypt. A pickup in building projects in Egypt's new administrative capital will trigger a construction boom in 2022, 
one of the Arab countries' top contractors previously stated. The government of Egypt has embarked on a number of national mega-projects that aim to enhance the competitiveness of the economy, create employment opportunities, and attract foreign and domestic private investments. With work underway by more than 1,000 companies and nearly 2 million Egyptian workers, these national mega-projects are contributing to a new chapter in Egypt's economic progress. Several of these projects are the new Swiss Canal, the Swiss Canal Economic Zone, and with a continually rising population, the government has announced the establishment of several new cities, namely the new administrative capital, the new Ismailia city, the new Alamein city, and an integrated city at Al Galala, and also East Port Said city. Currently one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in Egypt and even in Africa is the Daba nuclear power plant project, which costs $29 billion. The Daba nuclear power plant will be Egypt's first nuclear power plant and it will be built in El Daba, Matro Governorate, some 130 kilometers northwest of Cairo. Rosatom will develop the energy project in Egypt. The power station will be identical to Russia's Leningrad nuclear power plant, which has a capacity of 4,200 megawatts and provides half of the energy used in St. Petersburg and the Leningrad region. Egypt will be the only country in the region with four VVER 1,200 reactors, making it the only country with a Generation 3 Plus reactor. The Daba power station will have a capacity of 4,800 megawatts when completed. The project's total cost is $29 billion, of which Russia will pay $2 billion. Russia will be financing 85% of the cost as a state loan and Egypt will be providing the remaining 15% in payments. The Russian loan has a 13-year repayment duration and a 3% yearly interest rate. Just do the math yourself. There you have it, the top 5 African countries leading in mega construction projects. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and also share it with your friends.